Hi everyone, Greg Phillips here. Uh, I thought I'd continue my examination of theming in Power BI reports with a review of some of the features built into the Power BI desktop application itself. Uh, in my experience, the majority of examples presented online have described either the use of the built-in color themes or the creation of custom color themes, uh, but there have been few examinations of some of the available text theme customizations. So let's take a look. Before we begin to examine some of the text theme customizations available, uh, we need to have a base case. Uh, so to provide a canvas to showcase some of the built-in theming available in Power BI, uh, the Enterprise DNA Practice Dataset has been chosen, uh, which is a simple sales dataset from which a number of visuals can be easily constructed. Uh, the demonstration PBIX is a single report page, and custom page dimensions of 1600 by 900 have been used to give a little more space than a standard 1280 by 720 report. Uh, so here we see the standard uh, default color theme of blue, orange, and purple. Uh, if I come down to uh, view customize current, or sorry, browse for themes, and I choose a white text on dark background theme, uh, this is where we're going to try and get to. I'll just make a couple of very quick um, additions here through the format pane. Uh, which is it style on so that's where we're going okay so that's uh, let's build it together uh, so this gives us an idea of what can be accomplished with minimal use of the format pane for individual visuals uh, let's reset the default pbex and we'll take a look uh, okay uh, I won't save this and we'll open the, uh, the demo pbex file once again just wait for a second and here we can see if we go into the view menu we can come down to uh, customize current theme and we have a number of different sections available to us to make changes name and colors text uh, visuals page and filter pane uh, you're probably familiar with the name and colors uh, so let's take a look at each element in turn and as we build, we'll save some interim themes so that we can reapply them incrementally later. Uh, the original themes I used, uh, sorry, I developed um, while putting this demo together, I used Sago fonts, but we'll use Arial fonts uh, to ensure that we're only using what we built together today. Uh, okay, let's just cancel out of this. Uh, first thing we'll do is we'll load a set of colors uh, to see that change. I'm just gonna use the standard six color not the standard, but the ones I used uh, most recently um, here, and we're going to save that theme with just its colors as Arial. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we will grab uh, uh, sorry, a red color, a red hex code, and we will um, customize uh, the text colors here so come customer uh, sorry customize current theme again we'll come to text come to general change the font family to Arial, and change the font color to red and we can see that some of the items on our screen have changed uh, next thing we'll change some of them to green as well Once again, we'll come to view, customize current theme, and we'll choose text, and this time it's title. We'll choose Arial Black for the family. We'll make the size a little larger, 14 point, and we will change the hex code uh, to green. We can see a few more things have changed. Uh, next thing we'll do is change uh, the card and KPI text to blue. So again, view customize current theme, text, this time is cards and KPI. We'll change the family to Arial. We'll make the size a little different. We'll choose 30 and we'll change the font color to blue. So there we go. We can see those. Uh, I'm going to save an interim theme now. Let's just grab the name for it. Again, customize current theme. Change the name. And 
Uh, now we'll save it. Perfect. Uh, next thing we'll need to do is we'll need to make a few changes to the uh, page color. Uh, so let's go again to view custom, oops, sorry, view customize current theme and we'll go to page and uh, I'm just going to grab our uh, theme color 5, medium blue. Uh, grab the hex code for medium blue and we'll change that there with uh, transparency set to zero and for the page background as well. We'll change it to the transparency, sorry, to the blue color with transparency of zero. Oh, okay, now it's time to change the backgrounds for the visuals. Uh, we'll again come to view customize current theme and we will come down to the visuals section and here we're going to change the background to um, theme color 6, the dark blue. And we'll set the transparency halfway. Perfect. Uh, now we're going to save that as an interim theme as well. And we'll just grab the name here. Once again, we'll come into view, uh, customize current theme, we'll change the name, and then we'll save the current theme. Uh, so now that we have assigned theme colors to the page and visual backgrounds, uh, we can change over and update the text the elements we've set so far to white. So uh, I'm just going to grab the hex code for white here. Whoops, sorry. Got it. And we'll start changing um, all the various components here. So customize current theme for text general. We're going to change the font color white and again we'll come in and we'll change the text title font color to white as well and we'll come in and customize the current theme change the text card to KPI color to white as well Perfect. Coming along. Uh, there's two additional ones uh, that we need to uh, change over. Two advanced ones, excuse me. Um, if we come to name and colors and advanced, uh, we need to change the first level elements as well. We can change that to white. And the second level elements, change that as well to white. And now we can see that the majority of the text on our report is white. Now we'll need to do a couple of things uh, manually here to use the format pane to get the, uh, the entire report to look the way we want. Uh, we'll have to use the format pane to set the background color for the title here. So I come down here and I'll choose my uh, dark theme color. And I, now that I've done it once, I can use the format painter and copy it as many times as I want. So we'll adjust the rest of the visuals uh, to suit. And then finally, uh, we just have to update the style for the matrix and table visuals. We'll change it's from default to none. And there we go. Uh, so now let's put it all together. Uh, we'll reset the demo and we'll uh, apply things incrementally. So let's close without saving here. We'll reopen uh, the same PBIX. I forgot to save our last. Anyway, we'll use the one that I already have. So, um, so just to, so that we can see what we built, but we're starting off with our base uh, PBIX file. Uh, we're going to go to view, customize current theme. We're going to go browse for themes and we'll apply 
uh, the color theme that we had for um, just our six blue colors. Next, we'll do it one more time. Uh, we will browse for themes once again. We'll apply for the colors and text. So there we see we've got colors and text set. And we'll do it one more time. Uh, browse for themes. And we will use colors, text, and background. And that's, uh, we see we're getting a little bit closer. And we'll do it one more time. Uh, browse for, sorry, browse for themes. And we'll choose white text on the background. And we're almost done. The only thing we have to do is change the style uh, to none for the table and matrix visuals. Here we go. Well, that's it for today. Hopefully you can add some of the built-in theming to your Power BI toolbox and you can save yourself some work in the future. Best of luck. Bye. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.